Welcome back. I'm still alive. I'm still around. So, I thought I'd do a little video, just a little catch up. You know that I'm still around. So, I haven't done any own group for a little while, still. Um, but I am open to be doing one, possibly this Friday. So, I'm going to pour a drink out. So, the drink tonight is going to be. So it's the apple sign, a uh, turbo sign that I did a few months ago. I'm not going to review it, as such. <coughs> anyway, um, I'm just going to have a little drink, have a little catch up with you, really. So, pop this. Woo! So it's been in the bottle now for, uh, oh, three months, I think, maybe longer. Something like that. Right. Hear that? Crystal clear. Crystal clear. I put a of sediment in the bottom. Alright. Oh, there's no head on that. I want to expect some head. Look at that. See straight through it. Right, so, I hope you've all been doing well anyway. So, as I say, I haven't really uh, done any own brew recently. Um, <clears throat> I haven't made anything, I haven't looked at any own brew, but I've still got some stuff that I need to brew. Um, I've been mostly buying commercial beers here and there, uh, trying some different ones, nothing too special. Um, but I am wanting to do a beer before Christmas, uh, which Obviously, I know it's not going to be ready by Christmas, uh, but I don't want to. I want to get back into it uh, as much as I can. Um, obviously, I've still got some beers left. Uh, the brown ale I did a few months ago, obviously, because I hadn't kegged it, I left it in the keg, well, in the fermenter by accident, and it started to. It's looking a bit infected. It's got a bit of a whiff on it, um, so it was a bit of a shame. But that brown ale that I did, the kit, the Young's one. Was it Young's? I think it was. No, I don't think it was. But you know which one I'm on about. Um, when I make that, the issue with it was, I've had it in the keg. I thought I had it set at the right PSI, but I'm just getting like that much foam and about that much beer, so it's taken ages to settle. So I have tried taking some pressure out of it, and it's just not really doing much. Um, well, let's wet the whistle. Cheers. Ooh. That tastes very nice. So, right, so I've still got beers in there. Uh, I have got some olders coming up. Uh, one of them is this Friday, so I'm tempted to do one of the old uh, late night brews like I used to do. 100R6, so might be one of those late nights where I get a beer on, do a brew, and then get that into the king instead, ferment that out, get the bottled water and that. Um, yeah, I'm thinking possibly, maybe a dark wheat beer, or maybe the um, whip beer, maybe. I can't I think they're the last two that I've got. But I want to do a brew that's going to come out like to perfection, ideally. Something that's going to make me drink it and be like, wow, I'm taking right back with it. And if it. If I get that kind of result, happy days, happy days. I'll be really happy with that. Because um, I'd say it's been too long, it's been too long. I mean, compared to what it was at one point, I was brewing what? At least maybe once a month, maybe twice. So, the idea is I want to get another keg, um, but maybe get some uh, bags as well so I can start getting some stuff on the ample, uh, maybe some bitters and stuff like that. Um, I'd say I've still got some of the stout left from New Year, which is about a year and a half. 
yeah, a year and a half. Yeah, oh, does that make sense? No, I don't, I don't think it does. But you get me just, it's like every year old. Um, and let's say I might end up drinking somewhere on Christmas, along with another drink that I haven't had for absolutely years, which I'm looking forward to doing in too around Christmas. The good old fashioned snowball. I'm saying, I haven't had that for a long time, so that'd be nice. But now, nah, I want to try and get a beer on. Um, I've been watching the odd videos here and there, uh, not a lot. Um, but I am considering, with the weather being how it is, maybe get a lager on. That'd be nice. Ferment that out, let the lager out properly. Because uh, it seems to always be the right time of the year to do it. So, might maybe do a lager, leave that for a while, and then maybe kick the lager up, let that sit for maybe a couple of months and see how that goes, that could be quite nice, maybe like a nice dark lager or something, that might be nice, or maybe like a Kolsch, because I see there was a big, like there's a big thing with that, uh, I know a few months ago a lot of people were brewing the, I think it was like the clones, uh, that Budweiser Budvar, which I'm not sure I've had, I'm sure I've had that once, I think I have. I did enjoy it, so that that could be a choice. That could be an option. Um, but yeah, apart from that, not a lot, not a lot's been going on. Uh, just got some work all the time, really. Um, but now nah, I need to have a look through the uh, the Bible. But I want some inspiration. I want some people like you brewers out there to. Give me some sort of inspiration to get back into it. Um, some ideas of what I could brew. Um, and just, yeah, stuff like that. S some stuff I could brew on ample, for the ample. Stuff for the keg. Um, like I say, I want, cause I, I want to try and perfect the water, get the water just right for the next one. It tasted alright when I did the last brew, but I wasn't... 100% happy with it so yeah I, I think I need a, a bit of inspiration just to get me back in there get me back to where I was with brewing um, get me back on a regular with it you know the old weekend brews and then like even the old late night ones like I used to I miss doing them whacking the music on in the back you know, doing a beer and then Getting it all bottled or kicked up and getting back on here, you know, doing your tastings and that. Uh, but the beers that I've been mostly drinking, um, I'd say, got that a while back and drank that. Quite like Northern Monk. Uh, Eternal Summer. Um, got this every week from BM. Innocent Gun is Islay Whiskey Cask Beer. 7.4%. So yeah, it's been mostly commercial beers. Let's say I want to be back to drinking my own brews more. Because I miss it. I do miss it. Um I'd say I want to get back in there. Be yeah. Getting the beer mails out, stuff like that. But uh nah, I need to, I, need, I think I need a bit of inspiration, something to brew next. Um but yeah, apart from that, I'd say it has just literally just been wet, going out of places driving, which is coming on a lot better. It's getting better. Not uh, stolen as much. Uh, but now, um, yeah, I've been, I've been looking around, like I say, I was looking at the stuff in the range of the week, uh, the make your own uh, beer kits, but obviously since I've come away from kits, as a lot of you'll know, when you go to all grain from kits, you notice that difference in the taste. Um, so obviously, yeah, I'm trying to sort of to stick to the all grain now because obviously when I did that brown ale, I want it was all right, but I wasn't massively keen, not too keen on it. Um, so yeah, let's say I want I want to do some the older styles I used to bitters. You know, just try something new, try something a bit different. I'd say Christmas coming up as well. 
Christmas Eve. It'd be nice to have something to drink, maybe New Year. But no, it was just a quick one. I know it's probably a boring one. Not a lot of Sammy Old Home Brew side. But the side is tasting good. That is tasting nice. Very happily. I will be doing another one. I've got another packet of yeast for it. Um, where is it? Sorry, it was just that one. Bulldog one from Boys. I think it's only like one pound something a pack, which is pretty good. Um, and it waits a treat. Um, and that's say I've still got some yeast in here to use from the next beers, the Belgian wood yeast, mangrove Jackson 21 and so one Belgian wit style yeast so yeah I've still got yeast in there um, to use which could give me a bit of inspiration but I need inspiration from you lot uh, to get me back brewing but yeah it was only a quick one um, I want to be coming back to you on another video and be brewing a beer with like a grains glass or something but if you've got any ideas it is anything like that hit me up with them drop me in the comments um, and I will be back hopefully for another video maybe just before Christmas uh, even if it is just a brew day video just to like I want to do a grain to glass but I want to perfect the beer I don't want to put a video out and then be like right you haven't got to taste the video because the beer was shit so I didn't say no so <clears throat> I'll try to do a grain to glass in the next video, like I say, give me some inspiration and hopefully I'll brew Friday night coming up this Friday, um, do a late night, uh, do a late night brew and hopefully get a beer done, fermented, kegged for Christmas time. But, one thing I do want to ask, if any of you can give me a bit of light on it, because I've never brewed a whip beer before, I doubt we. <coughs> give me your opinions on kegging it, kegging it or bottling it. Ideally, I'd rather keg, uh, just because it just saves a bit of hassle from bottling like around 40 bottles of it. But yeah, let me know, would it work in a keg or not? I think it probably would, but yeah, hit me up, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll try to see you as soon as I can again soon uh, for another video before the end of the year with a brew video. I did, hopefully, fingers crossed. But yeah, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one uh, for an update or whatever, or more of a homebrew kind of video. So yeah, even though it was homebrew, turbo cider, which. If you're gonna do a homebrew video, you might as well drink a homebrew if you've got it. Now, but doing commercial beer, so yeah, uh, yeah. So I'll see you on the next one, hopefully before the end of the year, and uh, hopefully it'll be with a different beer in my hand. So, cheers, watching, cheers, sticking around. See you on the next one, and uh, yeah, if you haven't already. Make sure that before you watch this video, you crack the beer open, you drink it. And this is me over an hour. See you later, my mammals. See you later.